Hey everybody! So, can you believe it? Vlog Candy has made it to 100 challenges. It's kind of strange that something that just began a little over two years ago has become a huge cult phenomena. I mean, Vlog Candy is part of daily vocabulary. I mean, it's just that freaking awesome. So what I decided to do is I put together this little thing called the best of law candy. And here it is. On November 26, 2008, Andrew Bravner, Dude and Ease on Up, Strawberry 17, Zachary X. Binks, and Hurricane Aubrey all came together and collaborated Vlog Candy. With their mascot, Lopi, they go on weekly challenges and vlogs and showcasing their extremely immense talent and companionship to one another. At number 12, it's NYC Storybook, where the crew, just back from their trip from New York, retold what went on. Zach arrived in style, Andrew walked a long time, John rode giant toads, the crew went to the movies, and saw a giant teddy bear. At number 11, the candy crew tackled duct tape. John made a sword. Aubrey made cool looking sneakers. And Andrew made a shirt. At number 10, the crew decided to see what they looked like 50, 60 years from now. Warning, it doesn't get pretty. Number 9 brings us to the first anniversary of Vlog Candy, and to commemorate such an event, it was video commentary. This could be seen as the pilot for Pod Candy. At number 8, it's Christmas time, and what better way to celebrate Christmas is by making ornaments, but not just any ornaments, ornaments for twice miss. Andrew continued with his bathroom accessories with a plunger to go along with his Christmas toilet. John made his camera. Megan made her candy after finding out that it was blue and not green. And Aubrey made Mrs. Claus. Number 7 brings us to Puppet Show Week! Yes, the candy crew immortalized themselves as puppets. Andrew creatively turned himself into a hand puppet. John was felt right at home as a puppet. Megan's puppet reappeared on Lifebury a few times. Zach just showed how awesome he is. And Aubrey told the heart-wrenching story of having to ride roller skates instead of a scooter. Halfway through the countdown and at number 6, the crew take their stab at ghost busting. Andrew and his buddy Jeff check out the spooky house where teddy bear ghosts live. John became famous as Todd Ghost Cutter Stevens until he scared himself. And Aubrey doubled as Suzanne Lee Tahini with a house full of tea making ghosts and the host of Ghost Murders, where they straight up murder them ghosts. At number five, the crew survived the wild. Megan stole the week as Safari Sally as she showed us how to survive if we ever get lost in the woods, and how not to be friends with a bear. Number four brings us to Vlog Candy's very first vlog in challenge, Mystery Fruit! Andrew slayed a dragon fruit, John had a persimmon, Megan went to Hawaii for a papaya, Aubrey had a prickly pear, but nothing topped Zach and his passion fruit. Yeah, that doesn't look very passionate. At number 3, it's Vlog Candy the Musical. The Candy Crew proved that they can sing and dance as well as vlog and challenge each other. Most of us already know that Zach can sing. Aubrey proved she got mad skills. Andrew saying how great it is to be a Canadian. John literally got to sing on Broadway. And Megan ended the week with the Strawberry Salsa. Vlog Candy the Musical can currently be bought on iTunes. At number two, it's The Origin. 
For 63 days, Block Candy was under the control of the Origin. During the 63 days, the Origin seemed to control what seemed to be the fate of Block Candy. Fortunately, fate stepped in and Aubrey defeated the Origin, who currently is working in Soup Kitchen. Well, we've made it. 11 challenges down, and here we are at number 1, the infamous Vlog Candy Storybook Week. John started off the week with the now fascination with butts, as the candy crew live in a house that's shaped like a butt. As John's story went on, Mayblade, Prune Juice, and Cardcaptor Sakura all played a role, until they all mysteriously were all bound and tied up in an attic. Megan continued with the story, with Vlogvetica being behind the crew's capture, and that Vlogvetica was also planning to retake Alaska. But Megan decided to stop it, but unfortunately, she had been drugged with a potion that made her head like the big heads on Rocco's Modern Life. Zack picked up the story with Shauna being defeated, with Megan squashing her like the Wicked Witch of the East, and the Candy Crew being freed and using Megan's now helium-powered head to float into the city. But unfortunately, they got caught up in a candy storm! Aubrey continued on with the candy storm when Andrew decided that they must eat the candy in order to survive the candy storm and the evil demonic looking sun. Andrew brought the story to a thrilling conclusion when he remembered a story about a candy he ate yesterday that shrunk people's heads. Luckily, thinking fast, he threw it into Megan's mouth, ate it, and her head no longer was big. But unfortunately, since without helium-powered head, they all came tumbling down toward Earth. Luckily, they were right over the butt house and fell straight through the skylight. Yee. There you have it. The best of luck, Candy. 100 challenges so far. Here's to hoping to another 100 plus challenges. Keep up the good work, guys. You're doing great. Bye.